All right, guys, so we're 34 games into this season, and we are one of the worst teams in the Eastern Conference. Actually, we're one of the worst teams in the entire NBA. But with how trash we are, we do have a bright spot, and that's going to be our rookie sensation, Paulo Boncaro. He's currently averaging 27 points, 8.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, a still a game, and he's shooting 55% from the field. Markel Fultz has been a pleasant surprise, averaging 15 fours. Cole Anthony is chipping in. Bo Bo, I feel like I want to see him do a little bit more. And things are not going to get easier as we're going to be taking on the L.A. Lakers here. Now, according to the Power Rankings, boys, the Lakers are currently the fourth best team in the NBA. Bron, A.D., Westbrook, they got some guys, but I feel like we can compete. So we're going to jump straight into this game, man, in the first quarter. And early on, we are abusing the pick and roll. And you can see here we're going to abuse down low on the block. Paolo's matchup, he's got to win as he works there. Now here he is working against his man once again. He's going to hit Terrence Ross in the corner way downtown. That's off Wendell Carter Jr. on the boards. He's going to get the dunk. Now at the end of the first quarter, you can't play better defense than this from Jonathan Isaac. I don't know what Austin Reeves got going on, what he was feeling. He had a lot of animosity. He was able to get that to go. But with .9 seconds left, Cole Anthony's going to throw up a heave and that one is good to go it's going to go to an official review and after the refs are going to go to the monitor and they are going to confirm that Cole Anthony got the shot off in time they're going to let us know that it's good and we're going to go into the second quarter just down one Pick it up now, late in the second quarter. 1915. Russ throws the lob. I don't even know who Mahomes he is. Toscano, he throws the lob. He catches the body on Paulo. Now we find ourselves down 11 here. The Lakers went on a little bit of a run, but Paulo is killing Castano, Toscano down on the block as he gets that layup to go. And we're going to continue to feed the big fella down low until he can get stopped. He flops. He gets banged on. And we are trying to make our run to get back into this game. Now here we are down nine. Pick and roll with Paulo. Yamming it home. And we're down four. Just got to get a stop. Cole Anthony poking the ball away. He's going to be going on the fast break, and he's going to get a dunk. And we pull within two here in the third quarter. Playing defense once again. Cole Anthony trying to lock up on Russ. Brown going to the basket. Good defense from Paolo. We're on the boards. Cole Anthony leaks out. He catches it. He's going to throw it down, and we tie this ball game up 30 all. Let's go. We're going to be competitive as we're down one late in the fourth quarter, man. And this is where we got to get a stop. And Brown pulls up over two defenders, gets it to go. Nothing but net. How do you stop that when the GOAT goes to the rack? Now, we're going to continue to play fast here and go right back to Paolo. Paolo working down low. Anthony Davis comes over with the help, and he throws the turnover to Braun. We're just down three. we got to get a stop. And Kendrick Nunn just had an outer body experience. He's going to finish over two defenders with a fadeaway, and that's going to put us down five. we got to call a timeout. Fresh out of the timeout. Wendell Carter Jr. going down low to Paolo. Paolo trying to work on Anthony Davis. He kicks it back out to Cole Anthony. Terrence Ross way downtown. Doesn't get it to go. Paolo on the boards. Can he go back up and finish it? He gets fouled, and we do not convert the end. And one, but we're going to knock down the first free throw, and then we're going to come right back, and we're going to knock down the second free throw, and we are back down one. We need one stop if we want to win this game. The Lakers are playing pretty quickly with 30 seconds left, and Brown is going to throw a lob over Wendell Carter Jr. And Anthony Davis is going to get that to go. We call a timeout. Fresh out of the timeout, we need a three, or we got to score a quick two. We run a play. We get the ball to Cole Anthony. They wanted to run a play for Paolo, but Cole Anthony calls for the pick and roll, and I feel like this is going to be the right thing. We've been able to use it well all game game but Russell Westbrook undercuts it and gets the steal and this young team is just going to have to try to find ways to win the games late all right so looking at the final stats with the stats in minutes normalization it's a little OP man but Paolo Boncaro goes for 63 and 12 Cole Anthony has 26, Bo Bo has 12, Wendell Carter Jr. gives us a 10 and 15 double-double, but we still lose a game. And this is where our youth shows, we're in a lot of games late, but we find a way to lose them. Or you could just say, we have yet to find a way to win. In our next big Western Conference meetup, we played the Golden State Warriors, and Klay Thompson was, went absolutely nuts with 37 points. Franz Wagner led us in scoring, and Paolo didn't have the greatest of games, shooting 0 for 6 from 3. After that Lakers game, we proceeded to lose our next next five before we finally got a win versus the Kings and now we're currently on a three game losing streak to the Blazers the Jazz and the Nuggets. Now here we are back at home down seven late in the fourth quarter to the New Orleans Pelicans man and this is a game I feel like we should have a chance to win. These are games we got to be able to try to fight back in but the Pelicans are a young team that are really really good and they're proving that here. 
Alvarado gets to the basket, and he's going to finish between two defenders to extend the lead. Next, Markel Fultz is bringing the ball up court. Alvarado gets the steal. He's going to get the easy layup going the other way. And we find ourselves down 13, and our continued bright spot is Paulo Boncaro as he gets a tough finish over Zion. Now here we are, down 11. Franz Wagner on the steal, looking for Paulo. Paulo getting to the rack, and he's going to throw it down, and we are down single digits. We leave Alvarado wide open. Paulo gets the board. He's going to kick it. We got to try to go fast, and we got to try to score. We don't shoot the ball particularly well. We have to finish down low more times than not as Paulo, Paulo goes to the line. He's going to hit one of the two free throws, but he gets lost on defense on the other end, giving up the dunk to Zion, and we're going to lose this one, 121-114. Once again, a young team not finding ways to win these games. But we're approaching the All-Star break, and it's time for the All-Star selections. The captains are Luka and Giannis. And as you guys can see here, boys, Paolo is not there. I feel like the young man got snubbed, and here's why. At approaching the All-Star break, he's at 26.5 points, 9 boards, 4 assists, 1.2 steals, under 3 turnovers a game, shooting 54, 34, 75, what more does this young man have to do? And Paolo does not take Conley to that snub. The next game out versus the Charlotte Hornets, he's going on for an absolute tear. He's got 25 here in the fourth quarter, spinning, finishing over two defenders. That's the first tough basket to go here. And here we are back in the fourth quarter, Paolo ripping down a rebound on the other side, going coast to coast with the Euro step, finishing at the rim the other way. And back in transition once again, Paolo's going to Euro and get to the rack. They cannot stop that man from doing what he's doing. And with two whole minutes left in this game, Paolo gets player of the game. And he's not done there. Paulo tries to take the roof down with this windmill alley -oop, but he can't get it to go. And he's going to come back down on the next possession and score in a much more conventional way. He pump fakes, splits two defenders, goes up and gets a tough one to go. And we're going to win this game 127-111. Paulo had himself a very good day. And on the very next game, he wanted to prove once again it wasn't a fluke going for 34-11-6, having a big game versus the Knicks. In our last game before we head into the All-Star break, boys, we're picking up in a fourth quarter down six to the Bulls with under two minutes left here can we find a way to squeak out this game or at least tie it up Franz Wagner way downtown he can't get that to go beautiful rebound down low by Jonathan Isaac that is going to put us down just four now Pat Williams at the line he's going to miss the second of his two free throws Jonathan Isaac on the board we're pushing with Jalen Suggs Suggs is going to pull out Finding back to Isaac. We got to try to get a shot up here to, to cut it to this lead. Jalen Suggs kicks it to Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony way downtown. Bang. And we are down just two with 28 seconds left here. But Cole Anthony makes a boneheaded mistake. Why does he foul? There was enough time left between the shot clock and the game clock. They knocked down both free throws. 93-89 is your score. Jalen Suggs gets an open look off the pick and roll. It does not fall. And we are going to lose here to the Bulls right before the All-Star break, 94-89. And I just cannot reiterate this enough that young teams are going to struggle because they don't quite get understand what it takes to win basketball games. And officially at the All-Star break, man, Paulo Boncaro still averaging at 26 and a half with nine rebounds, four assists, and one still a game. Also a block a game, shooting great from the field. Got to clean up a little bit from three. Take a look at the supporting cast. Cole Anthony is averaging 15. Markel Fultz averaging 14. Franz Wagner averaging 13. Wendell Carter Jr. is uh, averaging a double-double. Jalen Suggs averaging double digits, and Bol Bol is out with a broken foot for two to four weeks. We weren't even aware of this, but that's definitely going to take a toll on our team, and that kind of explains why Jonathan Isaac was getting a lot of burn down the stretch. But everything, even though we're scoring a lot, isn't uh, sunshines and rainbows. We have the worst record in the Eastern Conference. The only team to have a worse record than us is the Utah Jazz at 8-52, and and that's actually just sad. And when it comes to the potential draft lottery, right now we'll be on the outside looking in of the Victor Wimbayama uh, sweep stakes, but I feel like Scoot Henderson is good, but we have enough guards, so if we don't get Victor and we get, like, you know, pick two through five, I'm pretty sure we're just going to go ahead and trade that pick. And Paolo is on pace to get the rookie of the year. He's got two rookie of the months. He didn't win December to Matherin, but you know, hopefully the second half is going to be a little bit more kind to us, and we can find ways to win games. Hey. <laughs> Niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block gon' get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody. Boy, get the fuck out your feelings. Drop my son off to school in the morning. After that, I had his